Peter is a 25 year old model and aspiring actor from London. He's single and sex plays an important part in his life. I love exploring sex as just as much as I love eating and I love eating. It's got to a point now these days that if I don't have sex within a certain space of time, my attitude changes. I get moody and sex actually has become such a massive part of my life that it's, it's kind of second nature now. It's kind of like breathe, eat, sex, sleep. The male sex drive hits its peak in our early 20s. At this life stage, men think about sex on average 19 times a day, although women aren't far behind with 10. Um, I'll probably, in a month, probably sleep with five or six different girls. For Peter, when it comes to hooking up with girls, making the right impression counts. I'm very image conscious and I love to make a good impression to the point that even when I'm going to the corner shop, I've got a dress as though I'm going somewhere important. Cause you never know who you're gonna bump into. So you always gotta look your best, right? I've got shirts, I've got the cardigans, polos, t-shirts, all colour coded, obviously. I bought this jacket because um, P. Diddy's got it. It looks so nice, but it's a bit like um, Pimp Daddy Cool Diddy. <laughs> Look at it. You must have more clothes sometimes than some of the girls you, you see. Yeah, I do. A lot of them do say, oh my gosh, you got more clothes than me. But um, I just say, yeah. <laughs> Looking his best boosts Peter's confidence to approach girls, and he's careful not to let any opportunities pass by. With a girl, if I walk past a random on the street, you've got a minute. Like, okay, cool. Do I need her in my life? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, I need her, okay. Approach, bam. It's like, you know, if you like it, go for it. If you don't, don't go for it. But don't get home a few hours later thinking, damn, because you had your chance. All you gotta do is pull down your balls and just go for it. <laughs> you come to Papa. Nah. Yeah, nah, I wouldn't do that to you. Tonight, Peter's out on the pool in London's West End about these with his mate and fellow model, Roberto. Girls! 20 quid you can't bring her here. 20 quid. <laughs> 20 quid. <laughs> Ladies, where are you off tonight? Where are you off to tonight? Uh, Drinks or food? Food, very much. Food? If I'm walking down the street and I see a physically sexy woman, like, my first thought is, okay, cool, she's nice. Second thought is, what does she look naked? I don't know whether that's an obsession or a craving, but it's, hey, it's me. I'm sitting here with my friend and we saw you two walk past, so we... Many factors feed into how sexually driven we are, but one of the most important is testosterone, the primary male sex hormone. Large-scale testosterone production in males kicks in at puberty and reaches its peak in the early 20s. The hormone is released from the testes and other glands into the bloodstream at regular pulsating rhythms, where it's carried to receptors all over the body. When it docks at these receptors, it can trigger major changes in our behaviour, not least our sex drive. Testosterone receptors are found on nerve cells in our brain, and the hormone interacts and binds with these nerve cells, relaying important messages for action. And in young males, that action is go out and compete with other men for a mate. And we'll probably be here for another hour or so.